for a sniper kill. Hello and welcome to another video from Paraplays VR and today we're going to be looking at a first person shooter. We're going to be looking at Pavlov. Yeah, I hadn't heard of it either, but believe me, you will be hearing about this game coming very soon actually and I had the opportunity to jump in and try a game today with one of the devs and somebody else that was on Discord. So not a lot of people in here, it's during the day and it's usually on the weekend when it tends to get a little bit more busy because a few dedicated servers go up. Now this really is kind of early access at the minute but it's showing massive potential. Everybody loves Onward or everybody I know with the HTC Vive loves Onward. Well if you take Onward and put it sort of like in a close quarters combat environment and mix in a little bit of Counter-Strike, you'll get an you'll get a brilliant flavour of what this game is all about. So in this following footage, I'm actually going to put up a couple of different videos. One is the search and destroy where there's a bomb, aka just like Counter-Strike. And this first one really is me just having a little look around, trying a few different weapons with one other player on my side against one of the devs. Or well, all the way around, should I say. And we get to try out some of the weapons, the sniper rifles, etc, etc. So I'm going to leave pretty much most of this unedited. You'll see a little bit of talk, me asking a few questions with the dev. And a few little things like that, which is kind of strange because he didn't have his mic with him. So it was like asking him a question and him nodding. But you'll get to have a look at the character models, some of the weapons, the audio, a little bit of the destruction. And I hope it gives you a flavour of where this game is going to go and just how big, wait, just wait, wait, onward, wait, wait, I think, wait, this game wait, is going wait. to become. Think Counter Strike. Welcome. Yeah, yeah. I think he, he didn't switch it to search and destroy. So you want to try? Oh, and hang switch on. It, it, actually, and destroy, it, it so. actually gives me a chance now to have a look at the character models, which are really cool, actually. Oh. Just get this yeah. out of the way. Let's get that out of the way. The one, whoa, the one really cool thing that he has with the models is when you buy armor. It's a visual. It'll show on your chest and your helmet, and if you get a headshot on a helmet, it'll pop off. How do you, how do you get like that radio wheel up where you buy stuff? I'm sure I've seen that on a picture somewhere. Yeah, it's uh, if you push your right track menu on the right side, yep. it'll pop up. Right now, you're not in the buy zone, so you can't. Ah. You gotta be in the buy zone to purchase. Interesting. I didn't even know about that. I thought it was when you spawned in, it was just a random weapon each time. Well, it, it is for so Team model. Deathmatch, but you can still buy your own choice of weapon. I, I, tell, you, I tell you what, the, the game feels different... The game feels different enough from onward that I think you're on to a winner here. Especially, if, I, I you, especially, especially if you copied, well, not quite copied, but if you took that Counter Strike vibe, you know, like terrorists versus whatever. Yeah, I love the destruction on the windows as well. Yeah, yeah. All this, all that's the one thing cool. I was gonna. The one thing I was gonna mention, Dave, while I got you, is you can. I'm sure you know, but you can walk through these big windows. Ah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that feels I'm weird. I'm sure you already know that. Is it possible, Ninja, Dave, for you to put on the other game mode so I can have a look? Oh, is this the buy? Where, where is the buy thing? Is it just when you first come in, when you spawn? Yeah, it's only in a... It's a... It's um, a, lo a spawn location for buying. Um, Dave, let's, can we go do a, a search and destroy mode? How come Dave doesn't have a mic? He doesn't. He doesn't talk. Is he the one that doesn't talk? <laughs> yeah. It adds to guy. his dev mystique. Right. Oh, and knives too. They're momentum based. That chrome is so, beautiful. Like if I was, you're an enemy. Let me just test this. If I go slowly. Ugh. Yeah, I won't. <laughs> Did that hurt you? Well, you've got blood all over the blade. Oh, it doesn't show on mine. Oh, you've got, it's, it's covered in blood, is that? You'll see on mine, watch. Is that hurting you? There. Oh, shit. The game definitely has a Counter-Strike vibe to it, including even at the beginning of each round, you can bring up the buy menu. 
depending on how well your team or you have done as an individual, you get more money. More money means you can buy combat vests, helmets, SMGs, the heavy stuff. And the cool thing about it is, is if you buy the heavy armor, it actually physically shows the body armor on you, including the helmet, which makes it a lot more difficult. A few times I was thinking, well, that the 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 death ratio needs to be put up so that you know even one round would kill you. But it turns out that the other player actually had a helmet and body pack on, so it is an incentive there. And I hope that once the other game mode, the Seek and Destroy with the C4, as you'll see in the second video, you actually have to put a code in. There is a little bit more to it than just sticking it on the wall. I really think this is going to be that quick fix to get in and play terrorist versus whatever, whereas Onward is going to be a bit more of the military side of it, you know, big open spaces. Each one, I think, is going to be able to differentiate itself between the competition. <laughs> That's awesome. You fucking scared the shit out of me. Well, I don't usually play the sniper class, DMR or Marksman. I actually think that the scopes kind of work a little bit better in this game than they do in Onward. I don't really want to keep comparing the two, but there is an obvious correlation between these two titles. I've noticed these ones, the scope when you bring it up to your eye doesn't seem to disintegrate or break. It's almost like the headset cannot go through the physical scope, if that makes, if that kind of makes sense in the virtual world. But uh, let's have a look at this L96 and see if I can actually get a kill with this damn thing. <laughs> That's quite funny. <laughs> First sniper kill.
Get away! What the f headshot though? Oh, that feels strange. Their weapons. Yes, Sam. Weapon in real life, so this should be kick ass. <laughs> 